Senior advisor to President-elect Donald Trump, Jason Miller. Jason, good afternoon. Great to see you today here on Newsline. Bianca, good to be with you. Uh, you know, John Stewart off the top, uh, a little clip of his show, where he's saying 11 years. Yeah, it's not really a round number. Obviously, this was a part of that many say works very well for Joe himself, like everything he's done in his career as a career politician. I don't know if he's going to pardon his brother James, um, but I also know the flip side. It means Hunter no longer gets to plead the fifth if he's ever called in front of Congress. Well, it's not just that. I mean, where do uh, the rest of President Trump's family go for their uh, for their apologies? I mean, where does uh, Eric Trump or mm -hmm. Donald Trump Jr. or anyone who's harassed by countless numbers of subpoenas and unlawful attacks? I mean, where does the President Trump go to get his apology and Mrs. Trump for what they did with an unconstitutional and illegal raid on Mar-a-Lago? The fact of the matter is that under Joe Biden, we have seen the four worst years for the weaponization of our justice system in. American history. The good news is we know with President Trump how he's going to govern as leader of this country. In the first four years when President Trump was in office, there was no weaponization of the justice system. That's what we're going to get back to. Justice is going to be blind and fair to everybody once again. That's why I'm so enthused about the pick for Pam Bondi for attorney general. She's a fearless prosecutor, someone who's really going to look and apply the law to everybody equally. I also think, as a matter of fact, that Cash Patel, who's President Trump's nominee to take over the FBI, so an extremely well qualified to step in and make sure that the politicization is gone. We should never have the, the leaking and the lying and the Russia, Russia, Russia and the other nonsense that we've seen from some of these agencies. We need to make sure that we have good, solid law enforcement, the focused people who are going to treat all Americans equally. We've seen uh, some of them making their rounds. Pam Bondi's on the Hill, uh, Pete Hegseth as well. Do you have a message to Senate Republicans? Um, Susan Collins, in regards to Cash Patel, um, has said, I don't know Cash. I've heard his name, but I don't know his background. I'm going to have a lot of work before researching, reaching a decision on him. Well, I think once all of these nominees are in front of the senators, both for their individual meetings and then for the confirmation hearings, I think they're going to win senators over. I mean, these every nominee that President Trump has put forward is extremely well qualified. They're going to bring this reform agenda to Washington. And when you look at the, the overall a uh, body of nominees have been put forward. I mean, just think for a moment of the economic team that President Trump has put forward with Scott Besson and Kevin mm -hmm. Hassett and Howard Lutnick and Jameson Greer and uh, so many others that are going to be putting together this, make sure we get the tax bill redone along with some of the new things such as no yes. tax on tips. Get this economic explosion going once again back to the economy that we had under President Trump's first four years in office. I think so many Americans have been turned so off and dispirited by what they've seen under Biden, but that's why President Trump got such a mandate and won the popular vote because people want to see his policies back in place. And he's been so busy. Some are saying, you know, we haven't heard from him. We know we've seen some videos um, at Mar-a-Lago Sunday with Netanyahu's wife, Sarah. We saw Thanksgiving. I think we have some of those. People were really, um, you know, happy to see him happy. After the years of lawfare, Jason, we've covered it for such a long time. Um, do, you, do you know any plans of Donald Trump to make any public uh, comments? What's his mood like right now, since you're really on the inside here? Is this is, as you said, an incredible mandate, an incredible time for him, really? Yeah, well, you get 312 electoral votes, you win the popular vote, you're going to be in a pretty good mood. Uh, but President Trump, is <laughs> he's moving really fast here. I mean, even by Thanksgiving, he had his entire cabinet picked. He had his senior leadership team right. at the White House, led by Chief of Staff Susie Wiles, that are in place, ready to, uh, to enact policies on the first day. Stephen Miller, Vince Haley, other Tom Homan, folks are putting together the executive orders and the policies. As President Trump said, we're going to drill, baby, drill, and secure the border. Those will be day one priorities. But this first 100 days, is going to be nonstop. There's so many things that he's ready to do because, again, we've never had a second term president step in It is ready to go. In fact, we never had a first term president, never had a president in history who's so ready to go on day one, who knows exactly what they want to do. So if you voted for President Trump, you should be pretty enthused that we're going to have the country back on track. And the other thing, too, democracy is going to be in such better standing around the world because you have to have a strong American presidency if you want to have strong democracy around the world. We're going to see peace in the Middle East. We're going to get the Russia-Ukraine conflict resolved. And finally, we're going to get back to where we have peace and prosperity is there for everybody. Information. Truth. Is freedom. 
is Newsmax. It's real news for real people.